Hello viewers, this is Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the world's first AI assisted bidirectional scan tool. This one here is from the company MuCar and is the model A92BT. This tool uses a wireless Bluetooth OBD dongle, giving you the portability that you need while troubleshooting the vehicle. It also has free lifetime software update, so you do not have to pay for any software update after a year. Now, besides having the regular scan tool functions like reading full codes or looking at live data, the AI assistive function in this tool allows for quick analysis of your fault codes so you don't have to get on your phone or your computer to look up troubleshooting information. In this video, I'll go over all the features on this tool, so let's get started. Right here is a MuCar 892BT. I'll unbox it right now. The tool comes in this carrying case. Right here is a scan tool, USB-C charging cable, power adapter for charging the device. It also comes with different adapters depending on which country you live in. This is a F chassis OBD adapter for connecting to BMW F series vehicles. Inside this bag is a RJ45 to a USB adapter, Ethernet cable, user manual. and a packing list. Let's have a closer look at this MuCar A92BT OBD scan tool. On the front is an 8 inch LCD display with a resolution of 1280 by 800. To charge the device, on the top you have this USB-C connector. Connect the charging adapter that came with the unit to charge the internal battery. Over here is a USB-A connector. If you need to connect this device to an Ethernet cable for internet, you can use the included USB-A to RJ45 adapter. Right here is a power button. Looking on the back, you have this wireless Bluetooth OBD adapter, so you need to plug this into the vehicle and it'll communicate wirelessly back to this device. Now this is held on by magnet, very convenient. This device also comes with a built-in kickstand. You can flip this out. Let's power this on. While it's booting up, let me go over some of the spec on this scan tool. This device uses a Cortex-A53 processor with 4GB of RAM and it has 64GB of storage. The operating system is an Android 10. This device supports both 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi and it has Bluetooth 5.0. It has an internal rechargeable battery rated at 4150 mAh. Let's first update this device so I need to connect this to my internet. Select upgrade. You'll need to check and update the diagnostic software maintenance software, and the app software. Enter. Select upgrade at the bottom. Now we'll download and install all the updates. While the software is updating, let me go over some of the main features on this scan tool. This does come with a free lifetime software upgrade, so you don't have to worry about having to pay for an update a year after owning this. It supports 140 plus car brands and over 10,000 different cars. With this tool, it also supports bidirectional control. It has 34 plus reset service functions, and of course it has basic functions like reading full codes and clearing full codes. And it can look at live data so you can do real-time troubleshooting. Now this tool also has AI function built in and I'll show you more of that later on. On the main page of this app you have the auto VIN function. Next one is diagnose. This will quickly access the vehicle system and diagnose it. OBD. You can use this function to read fault codes and clear fault codes. Look at the IM readiness for the emission and look at live data stream. Dollar fix community. This is a social media platform where people post contents and questions and discuss hot topics. Mu AI. With a Mu AI assistant, here you can ask things like how to troubleshoot a fault code or any maintenance questions you have on a vehicle. Here I'll enter the brand. So I entered the fault code P0430. Mu AI will use information on the internet and come back with information you're looking for. So if I have a Nissan P0430 fault code, it tells you the definition is a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank 2. Common symptom is reduced engine performance and increased emissions. Here's a list of all the guidance. Let's take a look at circuit system inspection. Here's some information on circuit system inspection. Circuit system test. It tells you to use a multimeter to test the voltage and resistance. Component test. And maintenance guide. Exit. So here I'm asking a question, what is the motor oil used for the 2019 Honda Odyssey? Here's a response, 
For a 2019 Honda Odyssey, the recommended motor oil is 0W20 synthetic oil. So as you can see, you can ask any questions you want. The Mio AI will provide you the information that you're looking for. Next, I'm going to take that Bluetooth OBD adapter, plug it into my car, and we'll check out these functions here. Here, I'll plug the adapter into the OBD port. The blue LED will illuminate. I did try the auto VIN scan with ignition off. It did not find a vehicle. So let's try with ignition on right now. And I found the VIN, make, model, and year of the vehicle. Let's do a full system diagnostic. 16 pin. Let's do a system scan. Now it's going to scan all the modules in the car. It finished scanning all the modules in the car. So let's say if I want to go into ECM, I'll select that. Here I can read fault codes, clear any fault codes if there are any, read data stream, and do actuation test. Checking fault codes, it tells me the ECM have no fault codes. Read data stream, I'll select the main signal. These are all the different PIDs I can read data off. So for example, I can select coolant temperature and engine speed, select OK. Here it tells me the coolant temperature is 183 degrees Fahrenheit and the engine speed is 660 RPM. Now if I step on the gas, the RPM will go up. Now if I want to graph these two pits, I can select graph at the bottom. And these are two graphs here. I can also select combine at the bottom here. And it will combine both graphs together. Right now the blue line is the coolant temperature and the red line is RPM. I'll step on the gas and you'll see the RPM go up. Now if I want to, I can also save this sample. At the bottom is the elapsed time of recording this data. When you're done, select the stop button and I can select save. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the transmission control module. Just like the ECM, you can read full code and clear any full codes. I'm going to select the read data stream. Now if you do any transmission fluid change on a Nissan vehicle, you do need to monitor the temperature when you're checking the level. So I'm interested in seeing if this OBD scan tool can read the transmission fluid temperature. I'm going to select main signal. Fluid temperature right there. Select OK. As you can see, the scan tool is able to tell you what's the transmission fluid temperature. So this is very useful if you're doing that service. OBD diagnostic. On this screen, I'll show you the VIN number of the vehicle. The mill status, which is a check engine light is off. DTC is zero for zero trouble code. Select enter. And check the IM readiness for the emission. For the IM readiness, it shows you what's ready and what's not supported. You can also read freeze frame. If the car detects a malfunction, it'll do a freeze frame, which contains a diagnostic code. And this OBD scan tool is able to read that. Let's look at history. The history will show you the vehicles that you had disconnected to. And it's a quick access for you to recall the vehicle and connect to it. Report. Here you can recall any saved reports. Dollar fixed community. Dollar Fix Community is a community-based car owner and professional database where people share knowledge. Here are some recommended articles. You also have community. You can join different communities and discuss topics. The last one here is Mu AI, which I showed you earlier. Let's go back to the Diagnose menu. Here on Full System Diagnosis. I'll do a health report. With this health report, it did find some trouble codes, but because these trouble codes are not related to the engine, transmission, or emission, it will not trigger the check engine light. To help you look up information on the error code, it has the option for Mu AI and Google search. Let's try Mu AI. So here it tells you the definition for this error is a CAN communication line, and the symptom is when a TCM does not send or receive any CAN communication signal within two seconds. So this with the AI function. Let's try the Google search. The Google search will automatically populate that error in the search bar. And then here are all the results from the search. 
You can select one of the search results and read about the error code. So this is definitely a very useful function to have the Mu AI and the Google search incorporated into the DTC findings. It will save you some time instead of using your phone or a computer to do your research. This scan tool does have a built-in OBD code library. So if you don't want to use the AI function to look up the trouble code, you're still able to find out information on that trouble code. What you want to do is go to more and then select this icon right here. There's the OBD default code library. Enter. Here you can type in the trouble code. So for example, I'll put in P0301. Search. It will ask you what make of the vehicle is. It's a Nissan. For this P0301 trouble code, the definition is number one cylinder misfire. And this can be caused by either a bad spark plug or a bad ignition coil. Here's a description, reason, and repair suggestion. Now even on this page, you can use AI. You can select the Mew AI icon right here. On this page, you'll have the definition, symptom, and the guidance. As you can see, this scan tool is very user-friendly, and it can help speed up your troubleshooting while you're working on the vehicle. Let's go to maintenance. Now the maintenance will allow you to do resets on service maintenance items. This first one here is air fuel ratio. There's ABS, SCR to reset urea for diesel engines, adaptive front lighting. If I keep scrolling, you can see there are more services you can reset using this tool. So as you can see, this Mew Car 892BT AI assisted OBD scan tool has all the main functions you would need to service your vehicle. This is perfect for your do-yourselfers or even professionals. I especially like the fact that this comes with free lifetime software upgrade, so you do not have to pay for any yearly subscriptions. Now at the time of this review, this tool retails for $520. Sometimes there are additional discounts to bring the price down closer to $500. If you're interested in this tool, check out the link below. I hope you enjoy watching this video. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.